Yellow lights have been extinguished. The field settles down in behind the pace vehicle. Fifteen laps to distance. Rich Heberg out of Stratford in the elite towing number 64 has the field in tow. Outside is Guy Ingham out of Bristol, Connecticut in the classic auto body Chevrolet. They tighten up a bit anticipating the green. 26 cars strong, 15 laps to distance. They'll have to hurry to get to the front if they're buried in the back. Three wide heading into turn number one. Something has to give. And it does as Guy Ingham goes around. He gets Bud Keeney to boot. Everybody else looks to get by a OK. -okay. And you bet that couldn't happen, right? Well, we got them around. Now all we have to do is realign them as the yellow flag is waving over the racetrack. Oh, green to checker just for the jollies. It's happened before. Right now, they're back under green. Let's see if they can do it again. As Rich Heberger sets the pace with car number 64. Guy Ingham in the 63 sets sail, as does the 11 of Ken Cassidy and the 77 X of Bud Keeney. That's how they shake down in the backstretch. A lot of side-by-side -side competition. Craig Garrett sideways with the 89. He hits last week's feature winner, John Faulkner. Some of the drivers lost some valuable real estate, but everybody stays pointed in the right direction. Slip, slide, slam, bang, and away. Looks like car number 11X dumping fuel out on the racetrack. Tough break for Glenn Boss. The car appears to be running good, but he's got some type of leak. As Mason almost around with the number 30. Let's see if they can get the black flag to the right driver this time. As the fuel be continues to pour out from the right rear of car number 11X. A tough break for Glenn Boss. He's definitely hooked up. But unfortunately, the problem is going to send him to the pit area. He can't believe it, folks. He doesn't see anything awry on the automobile, but he has been given the black flag on two occasions. Now heeds the warning and heads to the infield. Marshall Brook also heads to the infield. Now Glenn Boss realizes he has a problem, stays down on the inside and heads for the infield. Meanwhile, back under green. Action hot and heavy. Allen Coates in the 12. Who started in the number five position, finds himself leading the parade. Passing flag going out to some of the slower competitors as the leader has already caught up with the tail end of the field. Rich Heberger on the other hand has his hands full as Kenny Cassidy continues to apply the pressure. As we get the halfway marker this time by eight down, seven to go. As Alan Coates has things pretty well under control at the present time. The Scott Sheet Metal Works sponsored number 12 has almost a complete straightaway advantage, but now watches it all go up as the caution flag is out. We get on the way at 5 p.m., but right now we've got seven more laps to complete in this one. Challenge for the lead, Rich Heberger. Goes to the outside, Kenny Cassidy to the inside, and Cassidy goes around. Whoa! A perfect 360, stays on the throttle, and we stay on the green flag action. That's as close as they get without contact, folks. He went for all the gusto. Unfortunately, came up a bit short. Five laps to go, being posted from the flag stand. Alan Coates must be one happy young man.
the Scotch Sheet Metal Works, sponsored number 12 in search of victory here tonight. As to has to hang on a few more laps as they go three wide through that fourth turn. Everybody looking to improve their finishing positions. Cassidy looks to retire the 11 to the infield. Eddie Reed Jr. trying to reel in the back bumper of Alan Coates' number 12. Richie Berger continues to run in position number three. Bud Keeney running fourth. Defending track champion Mike Holdridge now up to the fifth spot. And it's Joe Magnick, John Faulkner, Pat Tanellen, and Bobby Bruce. Two to go, Mark Garari being displayed to the field. Final two times around the one-third mile oval. Bobby Bruce running into some sort of difficulty on the backstretch. John Faulkner able to pick off a spot. Bobby Bruce continues to be A-OK -okay on his way. White flag already going out to the field. Final time around the one-third mile oval. Ed Reed Jr. closes within striking distance. They run nose to tail through the turns. Alan Coates, dirt track in car number 12 out of turn number four. But Alan Coates able to hold on for the win. Bobby Bruce going around with a 0-5 fluid down on the racing surface. Action hot and heavy trying to get to the start finish line. But now everybody makes it across A-OK -okay is Alan Coates in the Scott Sheet Metal sponsored Chevrolet Malibu. He comes in to pick up the win, finishing a close second, driving the Campa Pizza. Perry Motors sponsored Chevrolet. Ed Reed Jr. from Waterford, unofficially in for the third spot, was the Elite Towing. Sponsor number 64 for Rich Heberger of Stratford. Bud Keeney also with a top five finish with a race sheet medal. Aronson's Auto Body sponsored Chevrolet. Well, Joel Gold sees down in victory lane. He's going to have a word with the limited sportsman feature winner. Victory lane. We look under the hood. He's got a hot one, folks. There's a lot of smoke and steam coming out from underneath. But at least it waited until the checkered flag came down. Bobby, you better check that out, huh? I think it's a little warm under there. Mommy down here to congratulate everybody. A little warm there, Alan. Yeah. Or are you running a hot one there? Good thing there weren't too many more laps remaining. <laughs> yeah, Eddie would have got me on the last couple of laps. The car's real loose, and I was just skating around and hoping he wasn't getting by me, and glad them lap cars were there. I was blocking them in. <laughs> well, you know, you came off that fourth turn. You were about sideways or about as far as you can go and still be going forward. Eddie was down to the inside. Did you ever once think that he was going to get you at the line? Oh, well, I thought he was going by, but I just kept my eye on him and kept my foot to the floor. Well, you notice a lot of the drivers came by since you've been standing here in victory lane with the thumbs up sign. Evidently, it's quite a good group out there, isn't it? Yeah, we got a, we're friends with everybody. My family helps me out. Everybody helps me out. So I hope we're going to have a good year this year.